I'm the program director at Living Rock. And this is so exciting to do Arts of August live. We're having a great show and uh, yeah, it's a thrill to be here. And these incredible artists, I mean, they're, they're vulnerable, they're authentic, they're sharing their story. How the art relates to peace, equality, love culture is amazing to read. People are inspired, people are having goosebumps. It's really great to hear people share the impact of, of these young emerging artists. Hey, so my name is Dominic and I'm the Summer Outreach Team Lead here at Living Rock. Worked very hard to ensure that this showcase could be hosted here at the Gasworks. Uh, we had over 55 submissions of youth artwork. It highlights how important this event is for the youth as it gives them that focus to work extremely hard towards achieving a goal, such as improving their portfolio. This showcase definitely highlights the culture and diversity that exists within the city and the talent is on display revealing the themes of peace, love, culture, and equality. Welcome everyone to the 20th Annual Arts of August Showcase. We are so delighted to have you all here tonight. We would like to begin with a land acknowledgement from Living Rock's Executive Director, Jen DeVries. The city of Hamilton is situated upon the traditional territories of the Erie, Neutral, Huron-Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and Mississaugas. This land is covered by the dish with one spoon wampum belt covenant which is an agreement between the Haudenosaunee and Nishnabek to share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. Today, the city of Hamilton is home to many indigenous people from across Turtle Island, North America. And we recognize that we must do more to learn about this rich history of this land so we can better understand our roles as residents, neighbors, partners, and caretakers. Thank you. It's our 20th anniversary. So something super exciting. Does anybody know the color, the stone that represents a 20th anniversary? Emerald. Emerald it is. Isn't that cool? So emerald is an unmistakable color. Wouldn't you agree? It is the symbol of hope and it is a life-affirming stone, and it provides inspiration. And we thought it would be such an opportunity to recognize one of the people at Living Rock who is indeed an emerald to so many of us. I would love to acknowledge Karen Craig tonight and her unbelievable commitment to this project, to this community. Heritage Canada provided us funding to do an anti-racism initiative in 2003. And we had a team and a committee of youth that said, we don't want to sit around and just talk about it, we want to do something. And they came up with an idea of a closest to the theme contest. And youth all over the city have got involved over the years. It's just incredible the number of youth that have stepped up to express themselves. So it's just been a wonderful journey and I just really appreciate when I think of that committee and I think of the work that they did and have continued to do. And I'm just so glad that the city has stepped up to sponsor this as well. And um, here we are, 20 years later, and it's amazing. So thank you so much to everyone and all the staff.
We are so excited for our Arts of August grand finale this evening at the beautiful Gasworks. It is so incredible to celebrate 20 years of youth making art and just to have this evening where we can showcase their gifts and talents, give them feedback, uh, but celebrate it. And it's such a neat event uh, just to celebrate community and the youth and their incredible skills. So thank you so much for joining us, for watching, for contributing. We are so glad you're part of this. Thank you. This year we have 55 pieces of artwork. Being an artist is often a vulnerable path. You make something so deeply personal and present it to the world with an open heart. Not everyone is so brave. Thank you artists for your submissions. We couldn't have this showcase without you. Before I even begin, if you're a volunteer, if you're a staff, or if you're a participant, um, just know that the work that's happening in programs like this across the city in such uncertain times are a part of the healing process. I look around the room and I, and I haven't even had a chance to look at every piece yet, and I got chills. Like I, I have to tell you how much your art and your contribution has just personally impacted me in the last 10 minutes. And in these times of darkness and uncertainty, know that programs like this, that you're providing, uh, not just for the participants, but for the city of Hamilton, are gonna be integral to our, our healing process moving forward. Getting back in person is so incredibly important. And to be here to give official greetings um, on behalf of not just the parliament, but my party as well as New Democrats to be here uh, to say thank you. I wanted to just draw your attention to um, some official federal certificates that we have made up for, for the participants of this program to let you know that this program has caught the attention federally, nationally, across the country. And so everybody who participated will be able to pick up their official scroll from the Parliament Hill at the front doors. Uh, you know, a, a great story w was shared with me about one of your one of your um, volunteers, one of your one of your staffers, whose job it was to fundraise and to and to get uh, these these baskets. And I want to reference that because uh, that to me is symbolic, and I think it's important for all the youth to know that despite all the bad press sometimes we get in Hamilton Center, the community cares about you and it loves you deeply. And it knows that, um, that you're a blessing to this city. And so with that, I, I again, want to thank everybody who made tonight happen. It's such a beautiful occasion. What a beautiful room. And you know what? We deserve this beautiful art, and we deserve this love and this healing and this incredible opportunity. So thank you so very much for allowing me to be a part of this. Just congratulations uh, to Living Rock for your 20 years of bringing youth together to make this amazing art. I, like Matthew, walked in and I started to look at the art and it was instant goosebumps. That's power. That's power in, in without even words, right? Uh, which is, which is, can be done in so many ways, without thought, uh, without, uh, you know, just, just being. Just being, you can you can appreciate art, and so I'm grateful uh, to Karen. Congratulations, Karen, on the award that you received tonight, because I know it's well deserved. The work that happens at Living Rock is completely exceptional. So many youth in our in our city benefit uh, because of Living Rock. The, the motto, the words uh, that inspire this event, I want to read: to foster creative expression and talent in youth at risk and engage them in opportunities for art expression, which fosters social inclusion, confidence, and creativity. I think that says it all. That says a lot about you, Living Rock and about the work that they do and how this uh, will benefit our community. Congratulations to all the youth who worked so hard to participate. Your gifts are absolutely, truly amazing and I'm honored to be here and to participate and to, to see all of the work that you've done. And I did bring a certificate, unfortunately not for all the participants, but I did bring one for Living Rock on uh, celebrating your 20th anniversary. So if you'd like to come up, I'll present that to you. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you to all the volunteers who make all of this magic happen. I, this couldn't happen without all of you. You're amazing, and we look forward to the rest of the night. Thank you so much. Thank you.
breakfast program every other Tuesday just to give voice to others in the community what Hamilton Regional Indian Center is and the work that we do and I'm happy to be at the Arts of August event um, I have attended probably five or six years in a row now um, and again it's just a space to bring youth together and using their arts and their talents Alex will be singing a girl, put your record on for us today. Thank you. 
Arts of August 2022. It's your boy Chucks. We're in the house. Shout out everyone who made this possible. You know, it's all about peace, love, equality, and culture. So we brought the culture here today. Shout out all my Nigerians. I love Hamilton. I love the city. Such an honor to perform at Arts of August 2022. Can't wait for next year. See y'all. So this song I had performing is called Charge It to the Game. And it's about, you know, having determination, having motivation, and just pushing through. Pushing through all the obstacles in your way and fighting to make your dreams happen, like the last performance said. So, yeah, keep your head up, have faith, believe in your goals, and work hard towards your dreams and you can make it possible. Let's go. What you want from me? Uh, what you want from me? I just need your company. Uh, I just need your company. Big man, provide company. Make a smoke this beat. Uh, uh. I don't even pray to correct. Make a side to me, I'm a vet. I'm the four oh one in the vet, huh? Everything is going up from here. Everything I see is crystal clear. Champagne flowing everywhere. Got my glow, this go clear. Everything is so fun there. Money going everywhere. Leave it up, girl, don't be scared. When you up, make sure to be friends. Pull up in the Porsche, I'll pull up in the bed. See you clap, to a bird, I'm a land. Huh? You just wanna put your hands, huh? So I go for a and it was a pleasure performing here tonight. That's the bug of 2022, let's go! Well, my name's Matt, I work at the Living Rock. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to work with the youth and I'm so grateful that the community came together for the prizes. Just shout out to the sponsors that came through tonight for the youth. It's incredible to see the community come together for one cause and I'm just super excited, super blessed to be part of this event. Thank you. Thanks again for having me, Arts of August. I'm going to play an original song. The song is basically about finding your peace, essentially. Hey, my name is Nathan Craig and I work as a youth support worker at Living Rock and I think Arts of August is great because the youth can just express themselves creatively and we have great music, great food, and it's a great event for the youth and it, the city of Hamilton. I'm currently a graphic design student at Mohawk College. Uh, back in 2011, I started to submit um, artwork for the Arts of August. Back when I was getting, getting used to the James Street art scene and ever since then I've been involved with the Living Rock and 
just this, this couple months, I just finished an internship at Living Rock for graphic design, and I designed uh, this huge um, art of this poster. It's giving like young artists a chance to um, submit their work and get the work out of there. So I would say it's a great opportunity for young artists to get their stuff out there and meet other people. I say thanks to Living Rock and the Gas Works for putting this together. It's been amazing seeing all the art tonight. Um, and obviously we're all here today to celebrate art, you know, the freedom of creation to express yourself. And um, the thing about art is, it's a good way to sort of say everything at once without really saying anything at all. Whether that's a painting or a song, whatever it is, you don't have to directly say it. You can express everything in here, out there, even if it only makes sense to you at the time. The song I'm going to do today is a song called Bones, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I thought I'd figure it out by the end of today I was stuck in a drought and started running away Again and again with the things that you say If I wasn't alone then it'd be okay Long run and far from home In the night a lonely soul If I should leave then let me know oh, I love you now and still we're gone Where I go I'm feeling like a misfit Working hard, trying to go for extra riches Never rolling with nobody, keeping distance And I don't know why everybody's pessimistic On the run and I'm far from home In the night, a lonely soul If I should leave, then let me know oh, I love you now, until we're gone I'm Emerald B and I'm performing tonight at the Arts of August and I'm so glad to be supporting the event and performing my original song. It's in the category of love and it is also a song I wrote for my mom just talking about how much I love her. So yeah, this event is super amazing tonight and I'm so glad to be here. background in design, but currently I'm uh, writing. I've been writing for about seven years now. My stories have to do with community, um, specifically in the North End of Hamilton. Really excited to read some of the, the creative works here tonight. I am a tattoo artist. I've owned a tattoo shop in Hamilton for five years now. Um, I also have a fine arts degree, so I'm an art teacher as well. The freedom of expression and the need to express is really, really vital to um, just like everyone in the world, really. So being able to like actually display your art because art is such a passive thing. You have to have people stop and actually pay attention to it. So being able to display art is really, really, I don't know, just beneficial. People need to express themselves. I work with the Hamilton Arts Council and because of that, I've been lucky enough to become a judge with Arts of August. Um, and I'm really excited for the showcase. Uh, being a youth myself, I think it's really important that we are highlighting youth, highlighting their talents and their passions. Um, even if they may be different from our own, I think it's awesome to celebrate each and every one of ours individuality and really excited to uh, to meet all the youth here today. You know, I had the opportunity to come here today because of the work that I do. I do a lot of creative writing, I do a lot of grants writing specifically, so I help connect different stakeholder groups um, to different pools of funding. And so I'm very, very happy that I get to be a judge. I'm looking forward to that. 
Uh, but also really looking forward to connecting youth to uh, something that rewards them for their artistic works. Artists really feed communities culturally, uh, emotionally, and through the work that they create, making their spaces uh, colorful, vibrant, energetic, and uh, really, really creative places to, to grow and, and to be. So thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure being here. Walking around this room gave each one of us goosebumps and we saw your power and we saw your inspiration and all that you did. And so thank you so much to all the youth who came out here and gave it your all. Seriously, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you everyone for coming out tonight. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much. Hear my cry, oh Lord, attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the years I'm gonna cry unto you. Father has been a shelter unto me and a strong tower from my enemy. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Yeah, when my heart And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Yeah, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the living rock. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm gonna fear no evil, cause thy rod and staff will protect me. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Yeah, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the living rock. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Yeah, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the living rock. You are 